Christmas morning also brought misery to about 250 people in Minnesota's largest city. They are without a home after a fire swept through the Drake Hotel in Minneapolis yesterday. The 93-year-old hotel was used to shelter homeless people. No one was seriously hurt, but many of the victims are forced to start all over again. Christian Cordero from our Minneapolis station, WCCO, is outside the hotel. And Christian, what do we know about what caused the fire? Well, Vlad, investigators are still looking into what caused the fire. It will be a while before they can go in and actually investigate. You can see a couple of fire engines are still out here. The fire itself continued to smolder and pop throughout the night. I can tell you this morning the smell of the smoke is still lingering now 24 hours later. And the hundreds of people who were displaced, they also saw they lost everything, but they also saw the power of Minnesota and the spirit of Christmas. We got to smell the smoke, you got to hear people screaming, and looked out, it was just filled with smoke. Around 3 Christmas morning, residents of Minneapolis's Drake Hotel were forced to evacuate after it went up in flames. The four alarm fire began on the second floor of the three story building and quickly spread to the attic. The only word that comes to mind right now is, is heartbreaking. While fire crews worked to put out the fire, residents kept warm on city buses. City leaders say about 250 people, many of them who were already homeless, lost all of their belongings. We literally just started over again and then lost everything all over again. What's next? I don't know, but I know it, 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 it could only get greater. While firefighters were on the scene, a Hennepin County official put out the call for help, urging people to donate supplies to the people affected. Word spread quickly on social media, and soon generous Minnesotans showed up with diapers, blankets, clothes, and shoes. People gave so much that some had to be turned away. I decided that we should go take some of our Christmas gifts and donate them to the kids or people that lost things in the fires. Minneapolis is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of emotional. The Minnesota Red Cross managed to find the residents' temporary shelter at a church for the next few evenings. But the city is trying to secure a more long-term solution. These are real people that need a roof over their heads and that need help. Three people were taken to the hospital. All are expected to recover. Several others were treated at the scene here for smoke inhalation. And Dana, if anybody feels implored to donate money to those in need, uh, the Minnesota Red Cross has set up a fund. Well, Back Chris to you. Christiane, your heart certainly goes out to all of them. Thank you very much.